What's up everybody? Today on the channel, we're making this juicy chicken. Check it out how juicy that is. People say boneless, skinless chicken breast is too dry. I'm here to prove them wrong. Today on the channel, we're gonna make some chicken. This is boneless, skinless breast. Most people tell you this is dry chicken. If it's dry, you're not cooking it right. Today we're gonna show you how to cook it right. Just got done sh showing you how to clean the Yoder Smoker pellet grill. What do you do with a clean grill? You get it dirty again. So let's get into it. We're gonna use a marinade again. I use this on my Picanha video. Grill mates, I'm telling you, they've got some great seasonings out there. Um, this one is their zesty herb one. And it's simple, right? You got three tablespoons of oil, three tablespoons of white vinegar, and a third of a cup of water. I've already mixed that in here. And all you do is you just pour it in there. Now one side note here, we're doing a hot cook today. I'm gonna set the grill at 475. So when you do a hot cook, you don't wanna use olive oil. You wanna use something that'll take the heat. So we're using avocado oil. It's good up to 490, 500 degrees. So we're gonna be good there. You don't wanna be burning your oil. We just give this a good mix. We take our chicken and before we do anything with it, we're going to just flatten it out a little bit. And normally I would just put this on the board with some saran wrap, but since we're outside and I don't have running water, we're gonna do it inside a Ziploc bag. And you know, I'm not trying to get it super skinny, I just wanna even it out a little bit because it's really flat down the one end. They will tenderize it a little bit. But ultimately the real goal there is just to, to help it cook. So now we'll take it. Dump it into our bowl. Give our seasoning a good mix. We're just gonna pour it over top of it. And the goal here is we wanna get this covered. It says on the package 15 minutes. Chicken is one of those things that just does not absorb marinate really, really quickly. So for me, 15 minutes is never long enough. I like to stick a bunch of holes in it, push some of this marinade inside of it. We wanna make sure it's completely covered. And that's it, we're gonna stick it in the fridge. I should have pounded it on my cutting board anyhow. I got marinate chicken juices all over the place <laughs> but so the goal here really is use a really small container like the chicken is just fitting in here i want my chicken covered in a marinade this is going to go in the fridge for probably three hours uh, you can do it overnight i mean it gets absolutely delicious the marinade gets right in it highly highly recommend it now, if you've got your inner voice and you're going, but I like the, the, the taste of chicken, you can do it for 30 minutes, maybe an hour. Um, I just recommend going longer than 15 minutes. I like to get it into the meat. So we're gonna put this in the fridge. We're gonna bring it out and uh, we'll get the grill fired up. So it's been two and a half hours. While we're waiting for that to finish up in the fridge, we need to get our Yoder preheated. That's simple. We're just gonna turn it on. Open it up. There's three buttons here. We'll hit start and it stops, starts to drop the pellets in there. Now default temperature on one of these is 350. We're gonna turn this up to 475. And you know, for those of you not familiar with the pellet grill, there's a heat shield here that goes across the bottom of the grill. We're gonna put our chicken over top of the firebox so it gets the hottest point in the grill. 
but there's going to be no flames there or anything that, that touch it. So you can leave it in one spot for the entire cook or you can turn it halfway through up to you. Depends how thick the chicken is, how long it's going to stay on there for. Sometimes you'll be able to get, you know, if it's a thicker piece of chicken, you'll be able to get good grill marks on either side. Sometimes I just put it bottom face down for 15 minutes and then the last seven minutes or whatever it is, I'll turn it over. That way you got some good presentation, uh, but you're not burnt on the one side. So the goal here is just to wait until you see a little bit of smoke. And what happens is there's a ceramic igniter there. Pellets are filling up into the box. And then once we see some smoke, it'll be lit. I got mesquite in here today. I alternate, I usually buy it by the pallet. So I have a mix of mesquite and hickory. Those are my two favorites. I've got some cherry, some apple, uh, but normally it's, it's gonna be mesquite or hickory. All right, we got some smoke over here. Close it up, let it get up to temperature. So it's been about 40 minutes since we lit the grill. It took 28 minutes to get up to temperature. We gave it an extra 10 minutes just so it could get heat soaked a little bit. This has now been marinating for over three hours, so let's get it on the grill. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it presentation side down, shake off some extra marinade. But we're going to put it right over top of the firebox. I want it in the hottest spot. and close it up, let the yoder do its job. I'm gonna let this go for maybe another 15 minutes or so, then I'll come out and check out the color. If it's ready, I'll turn it over, and then we'll let it go until it's done, and I'll show you what it looks like. Been about 22 minutes. It's time to look at the chicken. It's actually done. I have not flipped it yet. It's done. So as you can see by the top of it, that's some juicy chicken. What we're going to do is we're going to flip that over. You can see we've got some good color to it. Oh. Close that up. When you're done with the yoder, you just hit the start button again. What happens is it goes into shutdown mode and it will Take about 15 minutes, slowly go out and cool down, and that's all you have to do. So as you can see, the chicken is super juicy. We're gonna cut, cover that up. We're gonna let it rest for five minutes or so. And don't cover it up too tight. We're outside, there's some flies, so I'm trying to cover it without steaming it still. We'll wait five minutes and then we'll try it, see what we got. All right, the time has come. Let's see what we got. I mean, it's, look, it's, it's juicy. There's no doubt about it. Juice is all over the board. I mean, come on folks. Chicken can have some flavor, just marinate it for a little while. Even if you're in your voice said earlier, listen, I like the taste of chicken. And I said, you know, marinate it 30 minutes or to an hour. Do me a favor, try this once, marinate it for four hours, three hours. You can't go wrong with it. Just delicious chicken. And if you're feeling frisky, marinated overnight. I guarantee you're going to like it. That's all we got today. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you watching. Please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and we'll see you soon.